going on guys? So uh, this is the next installment of my micro fishing video. And just look at all this gorgeous stuff. Look at this. Sewage runoff. There's a nice, there's a nice bike down there. Bunch of trash down here. Uh, I was here the other day and I caught a largemouth bass. I caught huge creek chubs. There's big sucker fish in here. Uh, so... Basically, I'm just going to see how many fish I can catch in the next hour. Well, I just hooked into one. <laughs> I didn't have the camera running again. But yeah, little male creek chub. And you can tell they're male by the horns on their heads that they use to defend when they're in mating season. Keep other males out of their nests. This guy's cool looking. Nice color on it, too. Yeah. Creek chub. Now that they're starting to hit with the rain. Got one. Got one. This is a bigger one. I think this is a bigger one. I'd like to say it's a bigger one. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, now they're getting vicious with this rain. Yeah, smaller one, but still pretty nice. I mean, I'm, they're probably eating all the crap that comes out of these pipes over here. They're probably just feeding on all that junk. I wish there was trout in here. I mean, who knows? There used to be trout in these waterways, but now it's kind of, eh. So yeah, enjoy this creek chub segment. <laughs> uh, the other videos that I have, contemplating on whether to edit them before or after, but uh, pumpkin seed sunfish and tons of tiny bass. This is a new one. So for anyone that knows, let me know, because I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, I think it's a red-eared sunfish or a green sunfish. Um, no idea, because I don't see that much green. They're kind of dark. A lot of red on these fins, though, so. Come on, you fucking asshole. See, like, I ended up swallowing that entire hook. So now I gotta get pliers. Creek chub came right up. Oh, got one. There we go. I watched him come up and get it. Oh, he's big. I think this is the biggest one I caught. Holy shit. That's big. Yeah, that's the biggest creek chub I've caught so far. Hard to hold them because they, yeah, he pissed on me or something like that. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty big. I got these nasty little horns on their head. I love that. That is cool as shit. So night crawler. So I'm gonna try and use and then switch it up. Night crawler, tiny hook, bobber. Simple stuff <laughs> on an ice rod. Very limited space. That was violent. <laughs> yeah. There we go. 
and I got a fish. Green sunfish, I think, again. Or whatever these little sunfish are. Catch a lot of them. I mostly just catch them on the worm. <laughs> the green sunfish. And it's another one. Is this? No, this is a creek chub. It's a small ass creek chub. This is very tiny. This is a female. It's kind of insane how small the females are compared to the males with the horns. See, very small and zero horns. Nothing on there. No horns at all. So, they're definitely breeding. Oh, some's eating my other pole. It's like under the water. It's been under the water. <laughs> They're all fighting for it. My bobber's completely gone now. Oh, big creek chub. <laughs> big chub on the ice rod. Big creek chub on the ice rod. So I'm catching them both ways. Oh, look at that. Another nice one. And look, and you see it, and it's weird because the horns, they grow in these random patterns. Like, none of them are the same. And look at this thing's mouth. It's just completely all rubber. Completely rubbery. Yeah, well, you're not going to get off the hook like that, are you? But didn't waste my worm. So that's good. Yeah, I don't see a point in why, you know, you got to just use an ice rod in the winter. Like, if you're in like a tight spot and you're not trying to cast super far, get tangled in trees, it's got a good, it's got a good distance. And you just nail fish like one after the other <laughs> micro fishing at its finest <laughs> so another one these guys are voracious absolutely voracious that one that is I don't know what that is it's a bass er Ah, oh, it's another one of these fucking things. Creek chub. I notice none of them have those dentrical horn things or whatever you call them, dental. I don't know, but they don't have them anymore. So I guess that breeding season is over. That's a trout. That's a nice trout. Oh. <laughs> ah. That's what I wanted. That's what I needed. You see that? I hope I got that. I did get that. Awesome. Little, I hope you don't bite me, but. I got one. I got one. I got a trout. That's a trout. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice trout. What the fuck? Why is it hanging like this? Well...
guess I should be a little bit more careful. But I actually, because they rip it off the hook, I fucking wrap the damn thing around it. And then he really can't fucking go anywhere. They're going to have to bite through that to really get that off. But that was a fucking huge trout. That just took that. Oh yeah, that's a trout. That's a nice trout. Holy shit. Oh, is it? Oh my, uh, no. This, <laughs> holy shit. That, this is the biggest creek chub I think I've ever fucking seen. This is, a, <laughs> this creek chub is fucking enormous. Oh my God. Look at the mouth on that shit. I don't even know like how well this thing's angled on my head. This 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 creek chub. Could this be a record? I don't fucking know. This is the biggest creek chub I've ever caught in my fucking life. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh boy! Oh no! Oh! You're not going anywhere that quickly! Holy shit! Oh, I'm gonna measure this. So, long story short, couldn't find a tape measure, but from the photos, this thing is seems about the length of my forearm. Literally. You fucking dummy.